everybody just as promised from yesterday I'm going to do the um, Funko tag challenge um, I was officially unofficially tagged by Wisconsin Carl Clarl um, pretty much he just said that if he didn't tag anybody just go ahead and do it um, if you want to, I would like to see everybody do this if you want to. So I'm not going to tag anybody. It'll be an open invitation to tagging. But let's go ahead and get this started. Number one is my first Funko Pop. Let me go find that. Okay, so my first three actually are Deathstroke. Um, right? Yeah, Deathstroke. Um black suit spider-man which i think is carnage no venom or this one might just be regular black suit since it doesn't have anything else on it and my uh punisher this was before i even knew what pops were um i just thought these were like really super cool little figures and ended up with them i've also after that started my these ones actually started my deadpool collection which is way over on the other side of the room, but these were my very first three Fungo Pops. Next, how many Pops do you own? Uh, well, let's just kind of give you like a, there's a few there, and a few there, <laughs> and a few way back over there, and everybody over there, and a few over here. And down there. I don't know. I, um, I, I've not really honestly counted how many I own. Um, I'm sure it's in the ballpark of maybe almost 300. But I do not know. What is my favorite fandom to collect? I like collecting Marvel. I like collecting a little DC. The only DC I really truly have right now is the Suicide Squad Mystery Minifigures, three of the Suicide, no, four of the Suicide Squad Pops, and um, a few random Batman uh, Pops. But my favorite Pops are the 1966 Batman. Give me just one second. We'll take a look over there. So these are my favorite Pops that I have. But all in all, I do like collecting my Marvel, my Deadpool. I've got a bunch of Deadpool, my Mystery Minis. Um, I do love my horror pops. I do have a pink Batman. I got him in a trade for... Uh, I got him in a trade from Boss Man, but I wanted to trade or wanted that one especially for my mother since she is a three-year survivor of breast cancer. And that's when I made this Deadpool. My pink one. But anyway, I digress. Anyway, <laughs> I like horror. I mean, just about anything I'm tuned into. Alright, so number four. Favorite pop that I own. <sighs> Damn. I like all my horror pops. I really do. I worked very hard to get those. Especially my Chase uh, Shining Twins. I, my favorite ones, I love my Sailor Moon ones. I'm really hoping that they make out some more um, villains here soon. Of course, I have my Heat Miser and my Snow Miser. And my Grinch. So, it's really, really honestly hard to say which ones are my favorite. Ah, damn. If I had to go with... What's in my heart, I would have to say all my horror ones, but I'm really starting to dig the Nickelodeon Rugrats ones as well, so it's kind of a draw. Uh, five. Worst pop made. <sighs> Damn. I don't think I own any bad pops. Um... I'm not a big fan of the 8-bit pops. They do look a little on the Lego-ish side. Um, I know a lot of people like those. But 
if we have to go with the worst pop made, and I'll have to post the picture up in the left-hand corner, it is a dog from Marvel, and I don't know what the dog's name is, but it's supposed to be, I think, a pit bull? Or an English bulldog, and it looks like it has the worst mustache ever, and I know it's supposed to be, like, the way that dog is supposed to look, but it looks like the dog has a mustache, and it's really, really goofy looking. But I will remember to post that up in the, in the corner somewhere, and you all can see what I'm talking about if you don't already have a mental image. Valuable pop I own. Right now, I do believe the two most... Well, can I do them as a set? Because right now, my Eric and Ariel are climbing in price. Well, actually, they dropped since I bought the box like before my my disney mystery box came in they were at 90 dollars. after i opened it up two days later they were five dollars or 95 dollars. now they're like 80 something but i want to say my chase twins here are my most valuable and then of course i have heat miser and snow miser and i'm pretty sure my flocked ralphie is right up there with them. So there's my top three most valuable pops that I own. Lines, number seven. Lines I wish Funko would make. Oh my god, I really wish they'd make a Pretty Little Liar series. I know not a lot of people would be interested in that. Me, for one, I am. I know a lot of my friends would be. Um, so yes, I really wish they'd make that. Um, Don the Doctor and I have commented on several... Uh, videos about Archer. I really wish they would make Archer Pops. I don't know how that would look considering they're kind of uh, kind of weird cartoony. I don't know how to call it because there's like the pencil art. But I think that they would actually turn out really good considering that, I mean, we've pretty much taken all these other Funko Pops uh, from life and turned them into greatness. So, Definitely Pretty Little Liars and Archer would be my top two that I would like uh, Funko to make. Best and worst stores to get Funko Pops. Well, first off, the best store for me is Hot Topic. And Target is hit or miss. Um, and FYE is a good one too. FYE is definitely a good one. Hot Topic and every now and again, Target. Um, the worst places is definitely Walmart because... They don't take care of anything, and if it's not them, it's the customers, because nobody takes care of anything at Walmart. It doesn't matter if you're going to collect something, a Funko Pop, or just a regular baby's toy. Nothing's taken care of over there. And Walgreens. They have so many exclusives from last year still sitting on the shelf that when they get the new ones, they don't put them out right away, because they still have the old stuff, and... I don't know what they do with old stock. I guess they just sit it there for months and months at a time. I have no idea, but definitely uh, Walmart and Walgreens are the two worst, in my opinion. Oh, best and worst sub boxes. Um, hmm. Well, hell. If we're talking Funko... I would have to say the Marvel and DC, they're hit or miss. Um, I'll say they're both the best and the worst, just because they are hit or miss with the Funko Pops themselves. Sometimes you get really, really good pops. Sometimes it's like, eh, could have gone without that one. Um, I picked those two to buy according to what fandom happens to be in there. Like, if it's a full thing of Spider-Man, I don't want a full thing of Spider-Man. I know DC did one last year where it was nothing but Superman. And not everybody wants an entire box dedicated just to Superman. Especially, I don't know how to describe that box. That box was really kind of bonky to me. So, in my opinion, the best and worst would be a tie between actually good and bad, would be Marvel and DC, they're hit or miss. My favorite ones right now that I'm subscribed to are the Nickelodeon box, even though there are no Funko Pops in it, which I think that that needs to change. 
and the BAM box. It can be hit or miss sometimes, but I get it for the autographs, which are hit or miss sometimes. <laughs> and they do put a lot of really, really cool stuff in it, so... I guess my favorite box right now is the Nickelodeon box. <laughs> All right, let's see. And number 10, Holy Holy Grail Pops. Ah, damn. I'll have to post these up, but I want the, and I know it's going to be like a headache to get. Um, I do want the uh, Metallic Genie. And I don't know if this is, like, based on what I own or not, because I can sit here and go through all my ones that are, like, my grails to me that I own here in a minute. So I'll do that. But right now, um, uh, my Metallic Genie. And I think there's another one, and I can't remember what they are. Yeah, I can't remember the other two. I'll post them up and, like, give a description or something, I don't know, but I'll post them up in the left hand corner on my three Holy Grail Pops that I really truly want. Now, as far as the ones that I own, they would also, uh, blah, blah, blah. they would have to be Heat Miser and Snow Miser. I wish that I'd found them when I first started collecting Pops because they are so expensive. And then, of course, I've got my, in my, my collection, my Rugrats, Pops, my Tommy, and my um, Reptar. Of course, my new Heifer. Where'd he go? My Heifer Chase Pop. That is one of my grails. Um, there is a Boba Fett one that I want that apparently is a, con a convention, maybe? Where it looks like he's taken off in his rocket jet. And... My Mr. Todd. Hang on. My Mr. Todd. I won him in a raffle, so he's one of my favorite pops, one of my grail pops, so, I mean, I've got a lot of pops, so it's kind of hard to pick a grail, but those would have to be my favorite ones, my Mr. Todd, my Heat Miser and Snow Miser, and my Rugrats, Tommy and Reptar, and then my Heifer, so, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let me know if you'd like to see a room tour of everything that I have. Because we can definitely make that happen here soon. And I hope you guys have a great day. Great weekend. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.